Kweli Breakfast brought to you by Kweli Bean Cuba. This is unpopular opinion. Why tena na huyu jamaa ambaye anaitwa Yesu wa Tongaren. This guy is harmless. Mko na check jana news usiku na nashangaa why they following him like this man. Na sasa wanasema inabidi aende afanywe mental assessment. The guy is fine. This Jesus of Tongaren is fine. He is okay. Now the way Gavana mfuata alikuwa pale Bungoma local taki akijitetea. This guy is fine. Na achiliwe aendelee kusababisha mambo yake. Anuje mental assessment kwa nini? He is okay. Huyu jamaa alianza ku preach gospel akiwa 30 years. So this is an unpopular opinion. Waachana na huyu Jesus wa Tongaren aendelee kufanya Yesu ajulikane all over the world kwa seven continents. Ah sababisha kabisa bana kazi yake. Koti jana ilisema litapeana mavadi sita na leo na nini kesi bado inasikizwa sikizwa. Huu ni Clary Kambaa amesema yeye yako very very committed kwa injili na yeye atapambana ata na hii mpaka kaishi. But if you look at the guy, why do you think the guy is mentally ill? He's not mentally ill. The way na ana 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 express vizuri anaongea. Ni venye yeye ni prophet. Sasa ukiona manyule zake venye anavaa unaweza kufikiria yeye ni uh, ayuko fit. So but he doesn't come out as your normal pastor. Akai pastor Ezekiel. Avai masuti kama Ezekiel, avai masuti kama mapasta wenye huko mtaani ambao mmemzoea. Lakini pia ukiangalia wafuasi wake, pia wanakaa hivyo hivyo tu hivyo hivyo tu. Waachane na huyu Yesu wa Tongeren. Whenever he calls himself, I'm not a very big fan. Lakini for his freedom, I think the police and the government are putting their energy on the wrong person. This guy is innocent. Hakuna kitu bana do sababu watu wengi hatujaisikia story yake. Just yet you want to investigate this guy for money land. Which money is he laundering? Ni ukiona huyu Yesu wa Tongaren ni pesa gani ana London? Ukitaki umse. So far umeona video zake mapicha ukimuona. Mbona serikali inamuuliza maswali kuhusu bani London? Ukiona wafuasi wake, wewe unaona mfuasi wenye anatembea nao kila siku, unaweza wa link up na biashara ya bani London. The government is focusing kwa mtu mbaya. Is a wrong person because if you look at this other churches unaona sadaka siji ya mwisho ambao unafaa upeane ni 1500 mabasha zinapiganiwa watu wa kufuri ke huyu jamaa wako huyu ni OG huyu ni pastor huyu ni mtu mako humble humility huyu ni kama Yesu nakumbuka Yesu ali ride on a donkey when i see this guy i was looking at him on the news yesterday i was like he's so humble na wafuasi pia unaona wako pale wako so humble wako so down to earth hata venye wamevaa venye wanabonga wako pale kabisa bana money laundering on this guy This guy has no money to launder. Na my fans pia ambao wanawapitia wanafurana kila kila mali. They got no money to launder so serikali inafaa yake nguvu kwenye issue serious. Mwaike issue huko Shakaola. This guy is purely innocent. So nafikiri ule chief magistrate whatever wa Bungoma huko ambao anafuatilia hii case. Hii case inafaa itupiliwe mbali. Na check alikuwa Samuel kabisa by the way tarehe kumi this 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 month like, leo bado kuna mention ya the same case na ule county police boss wa Bungoma Francis Kooli anasema hii itaendelea kufuatiliwa na mimi nasema leo asubuhi unpopular opinion kabisa this guy is innocent he has no money to launder first of all the way he looks he doesn't have money na hiyo chat yake most likely hata watu watu wangi sadaka unacheki watu he is not a televangelist mwanangi kwa tv akiomba omba hapo investigate all these televangelists ambao wako kila mahali waulize maswali washike mzime tv za za kuhubiri zote zenye ziko na paybill mzime machache zote ambao wana preach prosperity gospel wafanye walipe tax hizi machache zote but this tongeren guy is pretty much innocent wekeni nguvu kwa watu ambao wanafaa nguvu mna frustrate mtu ambaye maybe ametumwa na Yesu unajua Mungu alisema nitakuja nitakuja God was crazy though he said he come like a thief <laughs> of all people a thief saki pigo a dead ya tadu just come like a thief so kuje tu atara kama mkaka fulani hivi amepoza ama kama msup Yesu alisema nitakuja kama mwizi maybe ametumwa huyo msaidu let me say we were putting our energy on the on, on the on the wrong person kama said God honestly speaking because cases ambazo ziko hapa anakuwa anachunguzwa nini anakuwa pale on time ana anaomba wafuasi wake ukiwacheki hawana wadoa hawana 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 machedas they look so like the only hope they have is this their guy called yes wa tongaren ambao wamekuwa kimfuata from the time this guy was 30 years of age so please you know the charges and the pastors ambao mnafaa ku investigate 
Tafudali, why investigate? This guy is my guy. Now this guy is your guy. He's a Jesus of Tungere. Na ni mtu ambaye hata mimi nadhatamani sana kuingia kuona church yake. Nadhatamani sana kumfuata even for a week. Nisikie good news. Kweli breakfast brought to you by Kweli Bin Cuba.